not we start our tour with the most important building in the Ottawa, which is the Parliament Building. That's where the seat of the government is located. Behind me is the Peace Tower and the Central Block. That's the West Block. The East Block. Now I'm standing in front of the Centennial Plate, which was lit for Canada's 100th birthday in 1967, and it's burning ever since. So now we're right on the edge of Spark Street, Ottawa's only pedestrian street. No cars allowed. It's full of souvenir shops and restaurants. And this crazy bear statue. Canada's Four Corners, one of Ottawa's oldest and most popular souvenir shops. This place sells anything and everything Canadian. Does this hat suit me? Can I take this loose for Right behind me is the War Memorial, built to commemorate all the soldiers who fought for Canada in many different wars. <laughs> the fantastic building behind me is the Chateau Laurier, an old hotel built to resemble a French castle. Did you know that one of the architects died in the Titanic disaster? Here I am now, in the main hall of the Chateau Laurier. I wish I could live here. was a wedding the night before. This is the Rideau Canal. It was built in 1832 to protect Canadians from attacks from Americans. Fortunately, it was never Sometimes used for that purpose. The river you see back there is the Ottawa River. on the other side of the canal. These days, it's used for boating, and in the winter, it's the world's longest skating UNESCO. It's also a UNESCO heritage site. Living in the capital of a country, we have a lot of fabulous museums. Follow me, I'll show you one or two. Over there behind me is the awesome National Gallery of Canada. We're 
about to cross a bridge above the Ottawa River and go into the province of Quebec. Everybody speaks French there. Follow me. You can see the Chateau Laurier, the locks, and the library of the Parliament building. What you see behind me is a typical West Coast Indian village. Now we're on the Quebec side. Ici on parle français. Bonjour! Bywood Market, which is the old town of Ottawa, full of great shops and restaurants. Come on, I'll show you around. Follow me. The Bywood Market is full of historic, charming courtyards like this one. If you're wondering why all the restaurants are empty, it's because it's plus five right now. Canadians are very tough, but not that tough. I think I'll need my coat now. Sure, that's perfect. Do you have any long stem roses? Yeah, we're gonna do a long stem roses. Yeah. That's good, like two is good. Maybe just one rose and a bunch of stuff around it. One rose and a bunch of white stuff around it. Every time you get out of the store, you find yourself in another cute courtyard. So many restaurants and no customers. Maybe I'll get served quickly. Let's go somewhere where there are a lot of customers. also has a lot of farmer stock with a lot of fruits and vegetables, most of them locally grown. Well, most of them. This is also the place for cider. Free cider. Actually bring it in in the Thank you. Have a nice afternoon. The Byward Market is also full of very unique craft shops, like this one, which sells very funky stuff. Like this button purse. So cool. And even though it's June in Ottawa, it's never too warm for these And it's so cold in here that we even wear wool jewelry. The most famous Ottawa snack is a beaver tail. You can buy one at Beaver Tails, right across the street. more to do and see, but it takes a couple of hours. I hope you can join me someday.